the time has come we need to start preparing for my wonder contract we actually just drove to rochester because i have to renew my medical so every two years we have to get this extensive medical exam done in order to work on board the last time i got it was before i headed to my contract on adventure which was back in april of 2021 it's currently February, so I do still have a medical that's valid until April, but it isn't valid for the entire contract, so I have to get that sorted before I arrive. So we're here now. I have to head in. I don't remember exactly all the tests I get done. I know I have like an eye exam, a regular physical. I have to give like a pee sample, and I hopefully don't have to give blood work because I hate having blood work done, but we'll find out. Now is your special day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with my medical. That was the worst experience of my life. I waited over an hour to be seen. And then come to find out the reason I was waiting so long was because the medical provider didn't send over the proper forms and test information that they needed at work fit. So they couldn't do anything until they got those papers, but send them then once I got in even still we started a few of the tests but I was still waiting on paperwork because again they didn't send them they didn't send everything so all in all it took about two and a half hours and I have to drive more than an hour back home so terrible experience at least the medical is done with now so we can just leave it in the past and I don't have to deal with that again at least we have Starbucks anyways let's drive home Hopefully have a better afternoon than we did morning. We are nine days out, people. This is no joke. I do need to start organizing myself. I just got off the phone with a I still don't have my medical results. I've been making so many phone calls the last couple days, checking on the status of it. The place that I got my testing done at, they didn't send all the forms over right away, so that delayed the process. It's now been nine days since I have gone there, and I still don't have my medical and I really need to submit that by like tomorrow or the day after in order to go to wonder so I am a bit stressed about that but it should be fine um I already got cleared I'm just waiting for like the official stamp or whatever so hopefully I'll get that today I also need to pick up medication from Rite Aid so hopefully that script will go through today maybe tomorrow but today's gonna be fun because we're going to Target and I'm gonna stock up on all my toiletries and makeup that I need for the upcoming contract so I've made a list on my phone I'm gonna bring it along with me and we're gonna go through the aisles try not to get off course and get everything we need we will be out of Port Canaveral so I can go shopping like on turnaround days but the first couple weeks I won't be able to get off because of install so it's better to just go prepared and then as the contract goes on then I can refill if I need she's like where are you going I'm just going to Target we'll be back just like a sheet of ice. <gasps> so that was a whole thing? Yeah, that was a bit much. Right. Crazy. Like in a movie. The motherland. I haven't even had coffee yet today, so we are gonna have to we're gonna have to make a Starbucks run for our shopping time. Because ah! then we can put our drinks in the cups. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, have a good one guys. You, you too. too. Immaculate. This would be cute to bring, but it probably would break in the luggage because it's ceramic one of these. I wanted to start getting all my makeup, but the e.l.f. section is literally wiped. They have like no concealer. I mean, these are all too dark for me. They don't have my shade. I need foundation, primer, blush. All of it is just gone. Thank you. 
I did not have very much luck with the makeup section. There were boxes upon boxes everywhere full of disorganized products. I did get a few things, but all the e.l.f. products I needed, they did not have. So instead of going to another Target, I think it's easiest to just place an order on Amazon. I have Prime, so it'll come tomorrow. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you a haul of everything I got, but I did receive a package, a very exciting one, from Europe Crate. In this box is a bunch of different snacks and treats from all over Europe. So, one of the best parts about traveling is getting to try the different foods that they have. I will have a discount code for you if you wanna try it out, but I'm really excited. Here's the haul. Like I said, I do need to place an order on Amazon for the rest of my makeup I need, mostly e.l.f. products, but I still did pretty well. I got all the essentials otherwise. So a little throw pillow for the cabin because I thought it was cute, it was five bucks. Um, I've been wanting to get one of these and this was only $5 as well. It's a makeup wash brusher. This is gonna be really useful, this brush holder. I didn't even know ColourPop was sold at Target, but they had a bunch on clearance. So I got two sparkly eyeshadows, this is a pack of two lip crayons and then two lip glosses. The colors look really pretty. Sunscreen moisturizer, deodorant, micellar water, shaving cream, cotton rounds, toothpaste, this really pretty blush from Revolution Makeup, two of my liquid eyeliners I always use, a little face shaver. I decided to get this as well. This was like five bucks to store my makeup in the cabin. I feel like this is... A nice, easy way to do that. Another restock of my e.l.f. Flirty Birdie eyeshadow. Razors, a loofah, and then this was definitely not needed, but it looks really cool and it will be useful for me. And it was only $10, so that's everything I got. I think I really only need to order hairspray, concealer, and foundation. I just got my skate sharpened for the first time in like probably three months. And I also just did 59 shows back to back. So I went from completely dull skates to freshly sharp skates and I am readjusting, let's just put it that way. <laughs> it completely goes without saying, but the single most important part of preparing for a contract is making sure that my skating is up to par. This is my fifth contract and every single contract I head into, I always feel very prepared but this contract I probably feel the most prepared for because I just came from a contract where we did 59 shows in two weeks, which was insanely intense. So my stamina is at a really great place. My consistency is at a great place. And overall, I'm just feeling really ready. My body is well rested and recovered since that contract because I had about a month break. So I'm feeling really good from then, but I do like to keep up with my skating. I typically skate about three times a week when I am home just to keep the muscle memory intact and also it's really good for me mentally. So any given day at the rink, I usually skate for about an hour. I always start with stroking exercises and edges just to warm up my body. Then I move on into jumps and do each jump a few times. And then I head to spins, which I usually spend the bulk of my time spinning because I just prefer it over jumps. And after all that said and done, I move on to all of my tricks. So split jump, Russian split jump, spread eagle, spirals, wind up, a bunch of different things. So that's what a typical practice day looks like for me. But I'm feeling really, really good about where I'm at with my skating heading into Wonder. one week out I honestly cannot believe it I'm really not that prepared right now mentally and emotionally I'm very excited to go but physically I am not I'm not super ready if we're being honest there's that I'm still waiting on my medical and I'm becoming very impatient and very stressed out because I got my medical test done 12 days ago now and I still don't have the results back Every time I call the office, they give me no information. They just say that it is being reviewed. But I mean, how long does it take to review one test? And I know I'm not the only one getting a medical exam taken care of, but like I'm in a time crunch. I'm supposed to have it submitted online today. 
and their offices are closed on the weekend so I am not receiving it till earliest Monday if that but I'm just like starting to stress a lot about that and it's so frustrating when no one is trying to help you or give you information i just need answers i just want to know when i should expect it and they're giving me nothing so i'm a bit irritated about that situation but on a more positive note um, i did receive my flight information flights are looking pretty good and i also have my hotel information because we're staying overnight in a hotel so i'm flying on saturday and then i sign on sunday morning which is pretty typical for any contract you never fly and sign on on the same day so i've gotten my flights i'm flying into orlando and my first flight's at 11 o'clock which is really good so i don't have to wake up super early or anything like that and then I have a two hour layover, which is not too bad. And then I land in Orlando at 6.15. So that's honestly perfect. I'm so glad I'm not getting in really late. So I can sort of settle into the hotel. You usually room with someone random, not from your division, your department, or even your ship because they have obviously multiple different ships. We will see. But I'm so glad I have my flight info. Obviously wish it was direct, but beggars can't be choosers, you know? I did receive an Amazon package, so we're gonna open it on up. I'm pretty sure it's just the makeup that I was missing in Target the other day. Oh, <laughs> it's literally just the foundation I ordered. So hopefully the concealer and other foundation that I ordered is coming today and then we should be good to go with makeup. I love Amazon Prime. If you don't have it, you need to get it. It is the most convenient thing ever. In other news, I do need to start packing today, and that's just something that has to happen. I'm feeling pretty confident about my packing skills. This is now my fifth contract I'm headed to. I finally come to terms with the fact that I pretty much live in leggings and sweatshirts on the ship. So I definitely don't need as many outfits as I usually pack. I always want to look cute, but it's, I just don't wear that in crew areas. So I'm obviously going to pack some cute summery outfits for when I'm off in port, but I'm not going to need too many of those. Packing is going to be an entirely separate vlog. So I'll show you like a few pieces here, but check out the packing vlog if you want to see what I'm packing. All right. That time again. This is the upgrade for luggage for this contract. I always have my pink one, but I just got this for Christmas. It's already getting dirty. So if anyone has tips how to clean that up, let me know. It's gonna be so much easier to use two rolly bags rather than like a soft shell. I did just order packing cubes. So many people recommend them. And I mean, I travel so often, I might as well try them. So I just ordered these from Amazon. They're a beige color. They look cute. They look like they'll do the job and they had good reviews. So these are going to come in tomorrow. We can unbox together. I am going to pack this white little t-shirt that I'm wearing today, but I need to wash it first. But this is going to come with me and I also have one in black that I'm going to pack. Now let's move on to tank tops. Another basic. I'm only going to try and grab a couple because I don't need 45. It's just not necessary. <laughs> I keep all my like tank tops under my bed. And I love little tank tops, but we're going to try and limit it. So this one is fancier, but I do wear it a lot. So I am going to pack this one. This one I just bought in Toronto. So I'm definitely packing this. It's a good neutral. This little muted green tank, pink one. And lastly, just this nude tank from Zara. Here is all of them laid out. So I think we're doing pretty well. Again, same high neck. You know I love it. And all these colors aside from the pink are pretty muted, so they're versatile. So I just added these and white and black will be added to this as well. Packing is going well. I just wanted to check on the status of like paperwork and things like that. I just found out that I don't need to get tested unless my airline requires me to. So I don't have to get a PCR or a rapid test before coming to my contract and it's effective July 27th, which is very exciting. So one less thing to stress about. If you know how I am, you know I got so nervous for my COVID test the last two contracts just because I wanna go to the contract so badly that I don't want anything to get in the way of my sign on day. And so this is just like music to my ears. It's such a relief to know that I don't need to get tested. And it's one less thing to have to put on my list of things to do before I leave. So yeah, 
that's good news. Here is a little checkpoint, day one. I think we're finished packing the clothes. So, we're doing pretty well. We just got back from dinner and I came home to two packages. So, we're gonna open them up together because why not, you know? I was waiting for these, so I already know what they are, but it's still exciting. So, I've got another foundation, the color beige, all foundation. And then I got three camo concealers. These are my favorite concealers ever. They're only like $7. Medium warm and then two medium neutral shades. Last makeup I got is a restock of my brow pomade. This is the NYX Tame and Frame brow pomade. It's what I use for my brows. And we love drugstore. So obviously I wouldn't have placed this order if Target had the products, but they were all out of literally everything. This is long overdue. I bought another pair of my favorite leggings. So I have these in nope, three colors maybe. I have gray, black, and green. But my black ones have a huge hole in the thigh and I just have neglected it. So I thought it was time to buy another pair. To be honest, I'm probably gonna keep the ones with a hole. Those will be like a backup if I need them but these are the CRZ yoga leggings, the 7 8th crop, and they are like a Lulu dupe. Fresh leggings was like a little treat to myself for the beginning of a new contract because obviously I will use them. I think I'm getting packages tomorrow, so we will open those up when we get them. Very excited. The next day. We've got more packages to open. I forgot I treated myself to this little, little gift. I figured I could use something fresh and new for the next contract, and I'll definitely wear this during install, so. I have just purchased a cropped black puffer vest. I love a good puffer vest, especially when it's cropped. I have that like tannish color one in my closet that I love, so I will definitely be bringing this to the contract. I'll probably end up bringing this instead of the tan one, because I don't think I need to, but so cute. Okay. What do we think? Here's the vest. These are pockets. I thought there was pockets. No pockets, but very cute. And then this one, I'm not sure what's in here because it's not an Amazon bag. Oh, it is Amazon. I have some more makeup for the contract. So I just got two of the Essence Lash Princess mascaras. You need to try it. It's like four bucks. And honestly, like the best drugstore mascara I've tried. And then we've got my packing cubes, which is very exciting. They're definitely not as big as I expected them to be. However, they're still going to be very useful. Love the color. It's like a beige color. This is the biggest one. They all just like came in here. So if you can see compared to my hand, this is the size of it. Definitely can pack a lot in here and also in these smaller ones. So yeah, this is hopefully going to make packing a little bit more organized and not take up quite as much space. There are a few things I need to print out. So we are gonna just take care of that now. Today has been a whirlwind. There has been so much going on. I don't even know where to begin. I think we're gonna just discuss it in the next vlog. So make sure you stay tuned for that because I'm gonna explain everything that's happening. Positive today is that hopefully things are looking up. We will see tomorrow what happens and the days that follow, but I am hoping that everything works out smoothly for me. Uh, downside is that Callum left today. He flew back home to England, so definitely not easy to say goodbye to him or like, you know, goodbye for now. I think a lot of people are assuming that he is going to be on the contract with me. I've never said anything about that. He is not gonna be with me on Wonder working. He's planning to visit, um, but there are a few reasons as to why that is. So I do have some news to share in the future. We will be getting to, um, I don't know when I'm going to announce it, but there's that to come. Sorry, I can't say more than that right now. But anyways, I digress. So obviously it is sad to say goodbye to him, but we honestly just had the best vacation together. I'm so glad he was able to come for three weeks. 
We had so much fun. I just love spending time with him, so I'm really glad he was able to come. Hopefully it should be about two months until I see him, which is done that amount of time apart before. It's not great, like it sucks, but it's not too bad. It's not years, you know? So yeah, he left and now I just have to zone in on preparing myself for the contract. So like I said, there's a lot to go over. I'm feeling extremely stressed, but it's gonna be fine. Um, I'm gonna be vlogging the next couple days leading up to my departure. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And I think that's all I've got for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.